Barbara and Marcus Stewart. I'm afraid there's another one of these submissions where I thought, why haven't we got a process where we can just deal with these issues one by one rather than the LTP? But you know the processes that um, may have been there in the past. Yeah, it was one of my favourite things. I used to love the annual plan. You'd hear what people really thought. Yeah, I think annual plan, this is good. Yes. But long term plan, you know, big picture stuff, you know, it's a especially shame. Especially with all your problems. Anyway, hello everybody, and especially to those of you that I know and remember with great affection. <laughs> and this is my son, Marcus. <laughs> Because this is a team Thank effort. We've both been battling this problem, but it's actually his land where he lives. Um, and may I beg um, just a little indulgence at the end, because the whole uh, situation of your, the structure of your council comes up, and I might be the oldest one here that was here in 1986. I might be. Right. I just want to tell you how good it was. Okay. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah, we had, Oscar, we had Oscar before. Right, well, all the oldies are being wheeled out of the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Bring in the big guns. Oh, yeah, that's the right, though. She's the boss. So, my son, Marcus, lives at 62B um, Aruya. His property on one side is bordered entirely by the river. And while I'm talking, Marcus, you hand that picture down there, and I'll just hand this picture down here. And you oh, can we sort can, of, somebody will come, come and do that for you. Some vague idea of what we're talking about. This is his land with a square around it, but most of the trees have now gone. But there's a square as to where his house is. This is the land and some problems, and that's a picture there of what it's like most of the time. And this is a picture that gives you some idea in the 50-year flood. So it just gives you a picture tells a thousand words. Um, over the past four years, and even before, but it's got so much worse since the earthquake, he's suffered frequently from flooding right, right up to his house and all around his house and across his paddocks. We've had numerous surveys done and reports commissioned from Cardro, whose representatives come just to, just to see what happens in this council today. But overall, there's been no satisfactory solution because it, it's a difficult one. We're here also because we represent several other property owners right along this part of the Slits River. It's not just Marcus's issue. We've met with Owen Southern of the City Council. We've met with Iran. In 2015, we had river cleaning just as these submissions were going in. But up until then, the river weed chopper had not been for a long, long time. And what occurs is for two reasons. Because of the earthquakes, the whole lay of the land and the river has changed. Mm. I doubt since that marvellous woman was here in my day who did the source to the sea of the Styx River, which was a very I can give that to the other side. Can you hand that one down to A very imaginative plan. Mary might remember, but anyway, there was a source to the sea. And it started with a rough rush and the source end got done, but the sea end was never touched. Mm. Um, it is literally sinking peat, bog, muck that is oozing sideways across the river. There's no definition of a river anymore. It's all mm. gone. Mm. So the idea that there was one day going to be a walkway, a public walkway, that was in the plan. I mm. doubt you could do it now. But what's happening to everybody in the area is this, the, uh, your, uh, like quicksand, your animals just would be sucked down if they got in there. And it is your land that you're paying rates on. It's a significant area as far as Marcus is concerned. I would say some roughly where we're here, roughly to that wall, at least, is deep bog the whole of one side of the property. Um, and number one, the weed cleaner doesn't come frequently enough. There is, there is a difference. The, land, the water disappears quite, quite significantly back into the centre when he comes along, but he doesn't come often enough. And nobody seems to have the same answer. They say there's just one machine because another one fell over and was put out of action. They say that this machine is laid up for weeks on end, not working. Well, it seems to me in a city of rivers that that one machine, if that is the case, one machine, should be constantly cleaning the weed, cleaning the rivers, and what it does. And there's no clear answer about that. So that's one question. What does this machine do? How often does it do it? And what are the results from its work? Seems a logical question. Another thing is, in one of those photos, you can see the, the, the photo is old, but you can see the line of willow trees. Well, those willow trees have seeded and grown far across the properties, and but they all started on council land. 
but they have moved sideways across the property. So we ask that the, these questions be looked at, that the long-term management of the Styx River be looked at. It's being ignored because there are not many people that live in this area and you have bigger problems. However, it is a river that's causing a lot of problems to all the people that live along there. And at flood times, the water is right up to Marcus's, virtually his door. It literally, and that happens if the rains are bad three or four times a year. And the, all the land around it. So it is very significant. I ask that you look at that because I speak for many other people that have this problem. And I think it's an issue. And I think you should look desperately at cutting. You can see the mess in those pictures of fallen willow trees. That's, that's council land. And because it's out of sight, nobody admits that it's a problem, but it's actually a major issue. So I ask that that be looked at. And as my time's running out, can I just say one last thing about your management of the council? Um, amalgamation was in 1989, and that, because of the argument and the passionate time it was, the, the director of what it was called, uh, something, brought in the community board scheme right across the city. Now, that was new. It had been bits and pieces in other cities, but not covering the whole city. I have to tell you, in my experience, I thought they worked extremely well. They were given proper work to do, and they did. We had a marvelous man called Tony Gemmell, and everybody really did work locally. But slowly, slowly, the powers that be, the administrative staff of this council, and a few other people, definitely didn't like not having all the eggs under their feathers. So they slowly stripped the powers of the community board and have made them really functionless, really. Mm. If you could look at how well they were run, mm. and local is coming back into the local. Even government departments are realizing that local is more important than, this, than the um, answers out of Wellington. It can work. You really don't need any more people around this table. You have enough people here to work with. Yep. But what you're not working on possibly well enough is really good functioning community board structure. Yep. And I say that because I saw it work, but it was taken away some years ago. So I would like to ask, um, we were also prepared on this land of Marcus's, which is considerable if you can see the pictures. Yeah. We were prepared to put river planting, as was done so well, at the source end and you know, really do something with it. But it's quite beyond that now. It's, it, 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 the possibilities have gone. But the management is really bad, and I think the willows have to be cut down, and the wiping of the weed, cutting of the weed, and the source of the side, and the structure of the river has to be seriously looked at. Dredging. Mm. And dredging. And dredging. And the dredging. Um, and I, that's what we're here to ask you for, to look at that. Thank you very much. Well, we, we have come to the end of the... It's just a reassurance that from their public meeting, mm, we yeah, are really yeah, following yeah. up and yeah. the staff have admitted that, that they're going to pick up the cutting regime. So if that's any comfort. That's uh, one of three or four things. Yeah. 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 And, yes. and, and they start, uh, cuss staff are like, oh, and yourself have been great. They've actually come to us yeah. and stood in front of us and taken the brunt of a few passionate people. So thank you very much. It was <laughs> a great meeting. Thank you very thank much. You. And um, also taking on board your other comments too. I totally agree. Thank so thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Um,